and welcome back to JF Craft episode 2. Today, we are talking about, well, we, uh, yeah, I guess we, today I am talking about music, but specifically one artist I've been getting into recently. It's honestly weird, because, you know, mostly I've listened to, like, rap and stuff throughout my life, because, I, I don't know, like, pop and rock, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about them, I don't know how to describe it, but they feel like Oh my god, I'm about to sound so stupid saying this. <laughs> they feel, for me at least, they feel like cringe to listen to. <laughs> I sound like such a fool right now. But it's the truth, and I've listened to mainly rap throughout my life. Um, But before rap, I'd listen to like electronic music, you know, I used to be a very big fan of Daft Punk in like 6th and 7th grade, I'd say. But recently, very recently, I don't know what brought it on. Actually, I'll tell you exactly what brought it on. Um, Kanye West, right, made a song. And I know, by the way, I know Kanye is like not a very good person. But you know, I'll be honest. I think his music's still pretty decent. I feel like saying Kanye, like just to, like just dismissing his whole discography. I just don't think that's, you know, a great idea. He made really solid music. But, you know, he's he's not a good person. I will fully agree on that. I think Kanye is a pretty terrible person. But that's not the point of this, okay? But he made a song on My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. In my opinion... I swore I heard a zombie. In my opinion, a uh, very slept on song. Blame game, right? Um... Oh, these grow quick. Do I have bones? Nope. That sucks. Um, I'll try breaking down that tree. But... You know, on Blame... <laughs> thought I was gonna die. On Blame Game, uh, there's a song called... On Blame Game... I'm so stupid. On Blame Game, the sample, right, in the background, is a song called Avril 14th by Aphex Twin. And I'm sure you saw the title. But, you know, I was I was listening to, like, the song, and I was like, man, the piano's pretty cool. But, like, I never really... I never decided to, like, look up what the sample was or anything. And then... Eventually, I heard this leaked, leaked, leaked version of the song that had, like, because on the actual song, it's a recreation of the song, because, I don't know, I think, I think Kanye was like, no, we're not paying for the sample or something, so they just recreated it instead of, like, getting it, like, cleared, but, why did, why was I getting hooked? I can't remember, I Huh. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go line up, so I'm gonna make a straight line. Um, but you know, this song, eventually I heard a leaked version of Blame Game, which had the original version of the song on it, like the, like instead of the recreation, like before they decided, like, no, we're not gonna clear this. Like there was a version of the song that had like, the actual like sample on it right and that got leaked and i listened to it and i was like man that sounds great like the piano sounds so much better so i looked it up and i found out it was it was avril 14th by aphex twin and you know i started listening to it i added it to my spotify playlist actually which was basically look at that which was basically all rap but you know i i, it was, I was like dang this is so good like this is great like i i don't know like, I'm not really, like, a fan of classical music. I don't think most people my age are. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, dang, this is, it's just, it's a beautiful song. So I was like, you know what, this is fire. Maybe I'll listen to his other stuff. And that's when I started listening to Aphex Twin. I found this video on YouTube, which I think is what really got me into him. It was, like, all Aphex Twin piano songs. Because at that point, I hadn't listened to, uh, like, his discography yet. Or, like, anything. All I listened to is Avril 14th. Oh, yeah, and another thing. I forgot to mention this, actually. Oh, my God. I'm about to sound like such a nerd when I say this. But... <laughs> it's hard for me to even say this, actually. Like, so I... I'm a big fan of... Jo oh, my God. I'm a big fan of Jojo... Jo <laughs> I can't... The words will not come out of my mouth. I am a big fan of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, right? And in part eight of it... Uh, there was a stand, because, like, in JoJo, if you don't know, there's, like, a power system. 
and like all of the abilities are named after like songs or musical artists and one of the stands was named i don't know like i don't know how you say it like scott key seven i think and that's an apex twin song so i that's the reason i knew about apex twin to begin with because honestly if i just saw it at level 14 i probably wouldn't have thought of anything in it but you know like the idea of apex twin existing was like already in my head and also the characters who had like the ability were named the apex brothers so that's another thing and yeah so i found this video i'll put it in the description by the way with all the piano songs and you know i th i thought avril 14th was pretty good then i found this other song it's on his i don't know how you see it Dr drugs album drunks I'm, i don't know it doesn't really matter but it's the last song it's called his song names are terrible to pronounce it's called na now two na now two it, it it really doesn't matter but now i listened to that and i was like dang the songs honestly it might be better than avril 14 and then i decided like you know what i think this guy this guy's cooking honestly so i was like look i'm, I'm gonna listen to his music we'll see what happens so i start off with uh i forgot what it's called selected ambient works 2 you know but honestly that's like <laughs> I, I don't even know I don't know if I'd consider that like it's music but like it's not something that you like add to the playlist like selected ambient works too is like you're trying to relax and you put the album on that's not like I don't know maybe some people do this and I don't judge them or I won't blame them whatever I can't speak but like you know I that's just not music I put in like my playlist so then I was like um you know what I'm gonna listen to the dang i forgot dang it oh my god i need to fix this do i have dirt <laughs> that is not dirt my pickaxe is gonna break too i'm gonna make a new pickaxe while i'm up here i'll stop that oak on me right yeah okay so i listened to selected and i think it's selected ambient works 85 the 92 that might not be the album name but it's his first album and that album was crazy that blew me away i added some of the songs to my playlist i think the the best song in that album is probably the first song i don't know how you pronounce it x x tall x t a l i don't know it doesn't really matter i think the album's pretty good though and i was like dang this is crazy then i heard alberto balsam and you know that that was pretty good too um Probably better than X Tall. Virtual Ball song might be my favorite song by him. That I don't. Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. I was like, dang, did I not make the other pickaxe? I did. But you know that song's pretty great. Um, my okay, forty six. I think Diamond Level's twelve. Um, but you know, I was I was like blown back. I was like, dang, like I I basically only listened to music with like lyrics. And like, you know, like melodies, whatever, from like a vocal artist. But like this music, like there's no vocalist, but it's still able to like portray the same emotions. That was crazy to me because I was like, dang. Because like, you know, I'd listen to Daft Punk and stuff, but like, you know, they they speak on the songs, they sing. I mean, it's super auto tune most of the time, but yeah, they did. But this was like very rarely there were vocals and then very recently i haven't listened to uh, uh what the i forgot what the album names i don't know why i'm doing this i can just put the torch up here and block it off oh, that's fine whatever but uh very recently i listened to drugs drugs whatever that album i was talking about earlier the one with avril 14 and i was blown away i was like dang this album is it's not better than selected ambient works to, to 85 to 92 but i think the i think the highs on drugs are higher and i think the you know the energy because there's you know like selected ambient works 85 to 92 very good album but there's not a lot of energy on it you know it's selected ambient works not selected like exciting hype works but so you know it's good but it's it's chill but drugs has these crazy freaking songs on it like I'm trying to think of some song names i'll pull up spotify on my phone hold on 
I'm gonna butcher all of these names, by the way, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but the, the titles are written in Cornish, which is a language, I looked this up, it has 500 speakers. <laughs> And I don't think any of them have it as their first language, because, you know, it's a Cornwall is in England, so, like, I don't know, it'd be quite strange if someone didn't speak English in, like, Cornwall, because it's, it's literally a part of England. But, let's see, you know, there's songs like Vord Hospin, I don't know how you say it, that song, that song's the best song off of Drunks, honestly. Outside of, like, out, not considering Avril 14th and, like, no, no, too. Like, out of, like, the hype songs on... Um, drugs. That's probably the best one. It, it, I don't know. It's so good. Like it, it provides the same emotion as like someone singing or whatever. Oh my god! I just got it. I forgot to mute Discord. <laughs> All right, we'll just roll with it. But it, it just produces the same emotions as like any other song, which is so crazy to me that he's able to do that. Like he's such a good producer. What else? Cock version 10, you know, that, that one's pretty good. <laughs> the name's funny, but it's pretty good. Uh, Mount St. Michael plus St. Michael's Mount, you know, that's that one's probably the second best, honestly. I love that song. The song's so freaking good. Especially the end when, like, the like the vocals come in, because it's like it's like a girl singing, I think, at the very end. That's fire. It's so good. Um, Melt Face 6, uh, I, if I'm being honest, I don't really remember the song too well, but there, any, any of the ones I'm listing right now, they're on my playlist, so they, I know they're all good. Uh, 54 Simru Beats, uh, uh, once again, I'm probably butchering all of these, but that one, that's probably the third best, that song's awesome, I think it has the most energy out of all of them on the album, probably, and like, the end is crazy on that song, it's so good, honestly, all of these songs are spectacular. And Zigomatic 17, that song's also, eh, yeah, probably the fourth best. But yeah, honestly, it's so great. I'm probably gonna listen to, uh, I forgot to mention what albums I didn't listen to, I think. Oh, uh, the ones I haven't listened to are I Care Because You Do. I think that's what it's called. Um, the Richard D. James album and, uh, the last one they released in 2014. Syro, Syro. Yeah, those are the ones. Has a scrum note. Not good. But, you know, I mean, it's still. It's all. You are kidding me. Actually, no, if I die. Yeah, no, it's fine. If I die, I don't really care. Um. No, it's some good. It's very good music. Honestly, for anyone watching this who hasn't listened to Apex Twin, genuinely just, like, go listen to him. He's so good. And I'm, I'm talking about him like a, he's an underground artist, which he's really not, honestly. I, th I think he's pretty well known. Like, I don't, I don't know if most people have listened to his music, but I, they've at least heard of him. I'm gonna use the hoe as a weapon. <laughs> oh my god, oh no, I might actually die. Not good, not good, not good. I, s I can't run! Yeah, I might actually die. But yeah, I, I'm talking about him like an underground artist, I know, and he's really not, probably. But like... He's underrated. I don't hear anyone talk about him, honestly. And maybe it's because he hasn't released an album in, like, I guess nine years. But he's so good. He's so good. Please go listen to him if you haven't. Like, the mu the music's actually fire. Uh, can I kill the zombie? I cannot kill the zombie. Wow, that lag is crazy. <laughs> All right, there we go. I need to reorganize my inventory. I'm gonna go in my house and do that. It's above, not another one. Where? No, 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 no. Okay, so I forgot how I did my inventory, I think. I don't have a pickaxe, I'm gonna pickaxe right now. Boom, look at that. Do I make an axe? No, probably not. Do I, yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna do actually, hold on. That was the worst crafting in history. None of you saw that. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna need this. I actually do need these torches. Uh, take that. I don't know. I'm not trying to cook the torches. Okay. But yeah. What was I, I think I was talking about how he's not an underground artist. But yeah, he's so underrated. It's so it's such good music. I think he has like. 
he, he's, he has 2 million listeners on Spotify, I think, but it's very high. It's like 2,900,000. So, yeah. Honestly, I know I probably, like, you know, I'm, I'm a very, very niche YouTuber as of right now. But, you know, for the, for the couple of people who are watching this, at, like, after I upload this, like, please go listen to his music. It's so good. It's so freaking good. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for me today, honestly. Um, I'm gonna go edit these, I'll upload this and the first episode at the same time, because I'm literally recording this right after the first episode. Like, I stopped for, like, two minutes, and then I started making this, but yeah. Um, that's about it for me today. Alright, guys, bye. That was the worst conclusion ever, actually. I'm not ending it off like that. That was terrible. <laughs> Alright, uh... Try that again. Discard that first one. Um, peace.